Hi friends! Today we're here to do my TBR takedown for the month of September, which basically means I'm really far behind. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is this game I've been playing during this year, trying to get my TBR from 240 down to 113. Now because I know that that's not going to happen this year just with everything going on in my personal life. I know that I don't really have any chance of hitting the 113. I'm not holding that against myself. I'm not going to punish myself for that. There are just things that are outside of my control that are keeping me from being able to read my usual 10 to 13 books a month. I'm reading about two books a month right now and it's just really outside of my control. What I want to do is ask you guys how we should proceed from here and what you would be most interested in seeing us do. The cats are both here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a poll in the sidebar and let you guys kind of choose how you want to go from here on my numbers and deciding what number we're going to discuss. So originally it was from 240 trying to get to 113 and I was going to continue using that 113 number until the end of the year and then next year kind of pick a new number. But I think because I know I'm not going to reach 113, I wanted to see if you guys would be interested in just doing to scrap the 113 altogether and just do a 240 down to zero or probably I think my manageable is 50 um, but basically just scrap the bottom number altogether and do more of a just trying to take the number down. So I'm going to put a poll in the sidebar and kind of just answer if you want to do continue using the 113 or if you want to scrap the bottom number and just go from where I'm sitting at. A because it's less confusing and B because I'm obviously not going to reach the 113 anyway so at this point it's kind of weird having that number and doing all the extra math and things that are not conducive to my brain right now. Using the numbers that we had, uh, my starting number for this month was 67, which means I had 67 books left to read for the year to get to 113. I purchased three books this month, the first of which is by Rick Riordan. It is The Trials of Apollo, book four, The Tyrant's Tomb. This series follows the god Apollo on his journey as being a human um, as he is punished by Zeus to be a human and trying to get his way back to his godlyhood. This series includes a lot of characters from the Percy Jackson series as well as the Heroes of Olympus series. Um, so there's a lot of Riordan's previous characters in this as well, um, which is a super fun time. I am now all caught up on um, Rick Riordan's published works. I've finished The Kane Chronicles, I've finished Magnus Chase. So now I'm just reading them as they're coming out, which is not soon enough for me. And then I bought Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. This was a book of the month club pick for me. This book follows a young girl who basically takes a job as being an apartment sitter at this ritzy fancy hotel in New York. The hotel has some really strange rules and with those rules she kind of comes to realize that there's something sinister going on at the hotel and it follows her trying to figure out what's going on and basically is a thriller and it's one of those is she gonna live is she gonna die who knows not me because you have to finish reading the book. And then In the Key of Naragane by Natasha Dean. I purchased this to read during the contemporary thon which did not happen. This book follows a young girl by the name of Naragane who is the daughter of immigrant parents and basically as with you here like the stereotypical immigrant parents that they want her to be a doctor or a lawyer or something of that sort. Um, Nira is interested more in music and this is her journey trying to explain to her parents how important music is to her life. This was recommended to me by Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany so I do plan to get to it very soon even though I wasn't able to read it during the contemporary thon. I'm very excited to have it because it sounds real good. Also this month what I'm not counting it will be counting in October because I don't actually have it. I did purchase Carrie Maniscalco's Capturing the Devil but I haven't received it yet. I bought a book box from uh, Fay Crate and Fay Crate had like seven boxes going out this month and they had hurricane issues and they just they have been so busy and they've been wonderful um, updating everybody on what's going on but um, so the book came out last month um, towards the beginning of the month and I just haven't received my box yet. So I will haul that in with October's books rather than this month because I don't actually have it. So it doesn't count yet. So that gives me three books. The reads again not a lot. I read two books this month. I'm not going to talk about them in full length. Typically with these videos I refer you to my wrap up to look and see what I read um, rather than me giving an opinion here but because my wrap up was 
only what I was able to read during the contemporary thon. I'm going to send you to my contemporary thon wrap up. I started five books in October that I just haven't finished. I'm like 50% through like five books right now and I just haven't finished any of them and I've kind of put them all down and I'm starting new books for October because it's a spooky month and it's just a hot mess but hopefully I'll get like a, some good numbers in November or December because I have so many that I've already started. But to what we were actually talking about. Uh, the first is Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. I ended up giving this a 3.25 out of 5 stars. So I did enjoy it. It wasn't my favorite book ever, but did enjoy it. And again, if you want to hear more about this, I will link uh, my review in the description box below. And also you can check out my wrap up for the contemporary -a thon. And the second book was Well Met by Jen DeLuca. And I gave this a 4.75 out of 5 stars, which basically means I loved it. This again, Link in the description box below for this book on Goodreads and the contemporary thought wrap up. So that's minus two. I had zero DNFs or unhauls this month. I mean, there's a bunch of books I didn't finish, but it wasn't because I decided not to finish them. That means that the books I need to reach my goal of 113 is 68. If you think I'm going to read 68 books in the next two months, three months technically, you're crazy. I have to read 23 books a month for the remainder, three months to get to the goal that I need to get to, which is definitely not going to happen. So again, check out the poll. Um, if you've read any of these books, let me know how you felt about them in the comment section below, because that's, after all, why we're here. October is going to be another month where I haul books that don't count, <laughs> because I have bought some books that I already own, but I'm buying like collector's editions and things like that. So I know I've already got a couple hanging out, because today's the 13th. I'm already like halfway through the month, so I kind of know what I'm getting into. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!